Good morning. Good morning. All right. It is uh, time for daily devotion this morning. And uh, we are on day five of the days after the resurrection, the days after Easter. And uh, we're going to now, or yesterday we did a throwback Thursday. Now, because uh, we went to John 18, and now we're coming back forward. And uh, we're going to be doing, uh, finishing out almost, two more days worth, but finishing out almost uh, uh, John 21, where uh, we get to see now what Jesus says to Peter. Uh, We saw Peter deny Jesus three times yesterday, and so today we're going to be in John uh, 21, uh, verses 15 to 19. And uh, you can follow along in whatever Bible you want. Um, or if you want to use your phone still, you can get to John 21, verses uh, 15 to 19, okay? And uh, I'll give you a little bonus passage. I, I shared it in the parentheses yesterday, but there is a another experience Peter has with Jesus that just has such powerful implications for this experience right now, too. And we'll, we'll, we'll do that again. We'll kind of do a double throwback. So anyway, here's the passage, and then our reflections will flow from there. After breakfast, because remember Jesus is, you know, barbecuing fish on the beach. After breakfast, Jesus asked Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Jesus, uh, yes, Lord, uh, Peter replied, you know I love you. Then feed my lambs, Jesus told him. Jesus repeated the question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter said, you know I love you. Then take care of my sheep, Jesus said. A third time he asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Now Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. He said, Lord, you know everything. You know what? Uh, you know that I love you. And then Jesus said, then feed my sheep. Good morning, Tim. Good to see you, brother. We're on verse 18 of John 21. I tell you the truth, when you were young, you were able to do as you liked. You dressed yourself and went wherever you wanted to go. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and others will dress you and take you where you don't want to go. Jesus said this to tell him, uh, to let him know by what kind of death he would glorify God. And then Jesus told him, follow me. Now, i got to give you some bonus passage because that that moment right there, follow me, is pretty powerful because back in John 13, Jesus uh, warned uh, Peter that he'd deny him uh, because Jesus was trying to start to tell his disciples, hey, look, I'm not going to be with you much longer. Um, I'm going to go be with the Father. And... And in John 13, 36, it it says, Simon Peter asked, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replied, you can't go with me now, but you will follow me later. Hear that word, follow me. Uh, Verse 37, but why can't I come now, Lord? He asked, I'm ready to die for you. Yeah. Jesus answered, die for me? I tell you the truth, Peter, before the rooster crows, Tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even know me. Now, remember, yesterday we saw that play out in John 18. Um, but just listen to this. What, what is Peter saying? I'll follow you wherever, even to death, right? Well, obviously he wasn't quite ready for that. Um, and Because in John 18, he denies Jesus three times. For throwback Thursday, yesterday. Now, today, Jesus has some some things to clear up with Peter, okay? Um, Three times over, uh, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Of course, Peter doesn't know really what's going on uh, right away, so he's like saying yes and getting frustrated each time. Um, But I don't think it's an accident that three times Jesus, uh, Peter denied Jesus, and three times Jesus gave Peter the opportunity to tell him he loves him. And so after, you might say, forgiveness and reconciliation was shared. See, because what did Jesus do each time? He said, all right, good. Now I got a job for you. Uh, And after Peter affirmed his love for Jesus, um, Jesus then says, okay, you're going to 
feed my sheep. You're gonna you're gonna um, care for my sheep. Uh, you're gonna feed my lambs. And and make no mistake, this is a leadership transition kind of moment uh, that Jesus is working up here. And uh, uh, because he knows he's going to ascend to the Father, and uh, the good shepherd in Jesus is now establishing the next under shepherd, you might say. Um, he's he's telling Peter, uh, all right. Now, I think you're ready uh, to follow me wherever. And uh, he even warns him, um, one day, someone's going to stretch your hands out. And uh, they're going to do that in a way that you don't really want them to. And, uh, and he's warning him, yep, you said you'd die for me, and indeed you will. And then he says those powerful words, follow me. Now, we, we know the rest of the story. Um, there's a little bit more of a dialogue tomorrow that Peter has with him, but it, ultimately we're going to be doing a First Peter series from Sunday on for a while because Peter followed him and uh, lived the rest of his life serving him. So uh, the reflection questions I have today kind of focus around this notion that there's forgiveness. Jesus comes and, yeah, even though in, in kind of one of the hardest moments when Jesus is being mocked and uh, um, put before trial unjustly, Peter just totally left him hanging. Um, but even with that offense, um, Jesus goes to the cross and comes through the empty tomb so that moments like this can be real, so that forgiveness can be full, and so that he can empower his people in new relationship that is whole and reconciled uh, to continue to follow him and do his work with him. Uh, that's a powerful, powerful thing that we're seeing happen here. Okay, so so here's uh, question number one I have for the day is just to think this through, kind of uh, make it uh, close to home. <laughs> Let's bring Peter's uh, experience into our experience as, as a person. Um, what are three things for which you know you need forgiveness right now? Uh, well, we're going with three because obviously Peter had three opportunities here to be forgiven. What are three things that for which you know you need forgiveness right now? Write them down. Maybe even put them in the margin right next to that John 21 text uh, after each time, you know, uh, Jesus, Jesus gives Peter the opportunity for reconciliation. Question two is, how does this passage impact your willingness to share those things with Jesus? To share your need for forgiveness? Um... And, uh, yeah, so for me, whenever I see others fully forgiven, it, it helps me to, to lean into that more and to trust that perhaps that forgiveness can be for me too. And so I pray that, that for you. Um, but wherever you are, uh, give your real answer. Um, and then number three, how does Jesus' forgiveness compel you to follow him? So, you know, receiving forgiveness fully, Peter kind of came to a different place. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, uh, Jesus just gave me a job and I'm going to follow him and, and do his work with him. And I, I wonder what that's like for you today. As you receive the forgiveness of Jesus, he says, follow me. And then he, he goes to do more work. And we kind of have a choice. We could just sit and, and kind of, you know, bathe in forgiveness for ourselves or we can receive that fully and then uh, have the opportunity to follow Jesus and share his forgiveness and love um, with the people that he puts and trusts and he puts in our life and entrusts to our care. So then I yeah, I would just say how does Jesus' forgiveness compel you uh, to follow him um, as he goes and does his work? All right, well I love you guys. We'll close in prayer this morning and uh, see how this reflection impacts you throughout the rest of your day. Heavenly Father, we thank you that um, you're a God of reconciliation, that you sent your son Jesus so that we could receive forgiveness fully, and so that we could follow him on his mission to share his forgiveness and love with, with the whole world. Um, help us to know, Lord, as we receive forgiveness, help us to know, Lord, how. Um, we can better share it uh, with the people in our life so that they would 
be able to meet Jesus and experience his love fully as well. And we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. You have a blessed day. And uh, I can't wait to see what, what God is up to as he works forgiveness in your life and sends you out to share it.